Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to be talking about how to throw your screwball. Now the screwball was never one of my favorite pitches. Maybe I was just bad at it, but um, no, I, it's not that I was bad at it. My college coach actually loved it on me, but I just, I felt like a lot of other pitches had a lot more true break than a screwball. You know, I felt just as confident throwing an inside fastball as I did with a screwball. But that being said, there are a lot of pitchers, top level pitchers, who do in fact have very, very good spin and movement on their screwballs. So it can be a very, very effective strikeout pitch or a pitch that, you know, takes the ball off the meat of the batter's bat so that they can't get a strong hit. So it's an important one to learn. So let's go over, let's jump right into the two most important things to remember about the screwball. And the first one, one of the most common things that I see is girls coming away from their body too soon. So they'll come off the rubber, they'll land in screwball position and their arms will deliver like that. They'll collapse the elbow and come away from them at the back hip. This, first of all, you won't be able to get very good spin on it because it's very hard to get good wrist action in that short amount of time. But also, the pitch is going to be way inside, way inside, because you're not getting to the end of your throw zone and spinning correctly. It's really important to remember that even for a screwball, even though we ultimately are having that hand spin away from our body a little bit, we're still leading from the elbow. We're still staying nice and close to our body. And then when we get out to the end of the throw zone, that's when we're spinning away. But you'll notice how when I do that, there's no excessive elbow collapse. There's no coming away too soon. I'm just leading from the elbow, staying nice and tight to my body and spinning away. So make sure your pitcher is not coming away from her body too early. And the next, probably even more common than that first one, probably the number one issue that I see with the, the screwball is girls relying on hip rotation to create inside movement. So you'll see them come down the backside of the arm circle and they'll go like this hips and shoulders totally facing the catcher. I've completely come off the power line. My arm had absolutely no ability to get to the end of the throw zone. And again, we're gonna see that pitch go way, way, way low and inside, and it's not gonna have very good spin. Again, even for the screwball, where the actual purpose is for the ball to go inside, we are still staying tracked so that our hand can get out to the end of the throw zone. So before I show you what this pitch is gonna look like, let's take a look at the grip. This is kind of a fun one where I have really seen pitchers grip it multiple ways, but there's two primary ways that I've seen them grip. So one is pitchers will grip it like that curveball that we talked about last video. So those two skinny seams, we take the ring finger and the middle finger, place them on those two seams, and then the thumb goes underneath. But I have also very commonly see girls grip it like a fastball. So the C grip. I personally prefer to hold it like my curveball, so that's what I'm going to be showing you guys. All right, so here we go. I am going to deliver this pitch, and I'm going to freeze on the finish so we can talk about some important things. Here we go. Load. Okay, so let's freeze. So, again, notice where my hand is. Out at the end of the throw zone, just coming very slightly away from my body with my palm up because I've had to spin kind of underneath that ball. But notice that I'm still nice and tracked so that my hand could get through. Now, opposite of the curve, and honestly, I should have even taken a little bit more of a step off. Opposite of the curve, where we have that crossover step, for the screwball, we're gonna take even more of a step off the power line. Again, it's not going to be way out here. Just a little bit more of a step to the left. So we're creating that extra space for our arm to get through. So my hand was here, had my foot land slightly to the left, slightly more to the left of the power line. And you'll notice that after I drove through, my drive through foot took a little step that way. That's because the screwball is also the one pitch, the one pitch where we are allowed to have just a little bit of upper body lean across the power line to, again, give ourselves that extra space for the arm to get out to the end of the throw zone and spin away. But that kind of takes my momentum across the power line. So when you drive through, you might see your pitchers take that little step 
across the power line, which is fine as long as they are still tracked. So again, we don't want this. We want tracked. So let's take another look at that. Load, deliver. Okay, so this has been our how to throw a screwball. Again, coming very soon on Fast Pitch Power Plus and in the advanced clinic, we are going to be having a lot more in-depth instruction for this pitch as well as a ton of different drills that you can do to practice the spin for this pitch. I've got one more movement pitch video coming for you guys right here on YouTube and I'll talk to you next time.